What's up guys, I am FlukiDev and I am making my dream game. A pixel art game where you defend and expand your base, which is a caravan trailer. Don't ask why, it's cool. Anyways, a lot of things have changed and improved since the last time and I am here to update you on everything. In the last devlog I promised to add guns, upgrades and other cool stuff. But since this video performed so well, I decided to upload the next video much earlier than usual while focusing on a bit less progress so you guys can get more content earlier. But now let's start. Stop. The first thing I did after uploading the last devlog was sending a demo of the game to a bunch of people on Discord to get a bit of constructive criticism. I packed the most important complaints my playtesters had into a to-do list and combined with the list I already had prepared for this devlog, this to-do list is now pretty long. The first complaint was that the game looks like trash and I couldn't disagree more. I remade the ground and added a very simple parallax background along with a sun that actually emits light and it already looks much more appealing. There is still so much more I have to improve but the game had more urgent issues that had to be fixed so I called this a day for now. The game's next big flaw was the shooting. The guns sometimes didn't seem to deal any damage and sometimes they dealt way too much damage. Since I didn't know what exactly exactly had caused this problem, I set up this special square to shoot at. It displays the total amount of damage it took while playing and why doesn't it work? Oh, I forgot to apply the script. Now it works. As you can see, the DMR and the AR are dealing the exact damage they are supposed to deal, but the revolvers do not. The heavy revolver sometimes deals damage to the square and the light revolver straight up never deals any damage. I tried to find and fix the reason for this bug but no matter what I tried it never worked out. The guns work using ray casts, which is great for performance but you can hardly visualize them which also makes it harder to find and fix bugs. It's like that for me at least, I know I suck at game development. Anyways because of this and other flaws the guns had I replaced the ray casts with actual bullets. I said I wouldn't do that in the last devlog but I changed my mind. Having a lot of bullets in the scene might have a slight impact on your performance performance but now shooting looks so much more satisfying than before. And all of the guns work flawlessly now. With that problem being out of the way I decided to get rid of the guns that were already in the game because they were unbalanced and boring. Also we only had one gun for each weapon type which is also extremely boring. So I scrapped the old guns and added two new assault rifles, two DMRs, two machine pistols, two shotguns, and one sniper. When using the sniper you hold on left click to aim in and aiming in longer will make your shot much more precise. I'm especially proud of this gun because making a sniper in a two dimensional game isn't as easy as you might expect it to be. Anyways each gun has its own unique stats and with five types of guns each type featuring two different guns there are now a lot of options to choose from and if nine guns still aren't enough for you don't worry a lot more will come in the future. I have some pretty cool stuff planned so make sure to subscribe if you are interested. And before we come to bullets, magazines and being able to reload your guns, let's talk about item tooltips. Right now you can pick up guns from the ground, but let's say you play the game in this state for the first time. How would you ever know that you can actually pick up these guns from the ground? The game doesn't tell you about this in any way and this is what I wanted to change ASAP. My idea was to highlight the item you are pointing your mouse cursor at whilst also displaying its name and the key you have to press in order to pick it up. I tried to make this work first try and yeah. No, we can't keep it like that. This looks awful. After a while I ended up with this. When you hover over an item it flashes up and a text appears that tells you what key to press in order to pick up the item. It's simple, straight to the point and will totally do the job for now. And with that issue being fixed as well it was finally time to, well, fix the next issue. We just added 9 new guns so let's make them work flawlessly before we do anything else. All of these guns operate mostly fine, all they have in common is 
one major problem. You can use them forever without ever needing to reload. Of course this is not good at all so I added magazines and bullet stocks. Now you can only shoot as long as you have bullets in your magazine and you use these bullets up by shooting which makes sense. Yeah. When you drop your gun the amount of bullets it had loaded is also being stored in the item until you pick the gun back up. And you also have to load the gun after equipping it which takes less than a second but you can't shoot in this duration and I think it's a pretty cool addition. I also added reloading and you can do that whenever you want by pressing R and as long as you carry enough bullets. After that I fixed some bugs that made the bullets destroy themselves randomly or not made them hit anything at all. Lastly I did some polishing and added smaller features here and there such as bullet knockback. Actually I also want to add reloading animations but I am still working working on them at the moment. So they will hopefully be done by the time you get the next devlog. The next devlog will be focused on buildings and upgrades, so make sure to subscribe if you are curious. Also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching, have a nice day and see you very soon.